Hello everyone, so welcome to another Python tutorial series. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how does Elon Musk launch a rocket? No, I'm joking. Uh, in this video, we're actually going to be talking about animating a rocket launch using the Yosuna engine. So in one of the previous videos called Coding Matrix Style Digital Rain Animation using Yosuna engine, I was showing you how you could use the texture offset attribute of an entity to create a dynamic scene. Somehow the animation doesn't look very great in the video, although it does look really nice on my computer. So this may just be a problem with the video. So today I'm going to use a similar technique to create another animation, which is a rocket launching. And I hope it looks better. So first of all, let's import our Yersna module. So from Yersna, import star. And let's create a window. So we can just write app is equal to Yersna. And then app.run. And this will just run the uh, Yersna game. And now, if we run this, nothing is going to happen. So, what we could do is add in an entity. So, let's create a cube in the center. So, let's have a cube is going to be equal to an entity. And, of course, the model is going to be equal to a cube, since we want to create a cube. And we could set the scale on this to 3.5 on the x-axis, 3.5, uh, 5.5 on the y-axis, and 3.5 on the x or on the Z. Let's add another parameter. We're going to create a texture. And this texture is going to be an image that I have on my computer. So it's going to be in a folder called image or IMG. And it's going to be star bg.png. Now that I have this cube entity, I'm going to create another cube. So cube2 is equal to another entity. And the model is also going to be, able to, going to be equal to a cube. I'm going to set the color to color dot rgba 255 255 255 255 and i'm going to scale this on the x 3.6 on the y 5.3 and on z 3.6 again i'm going to add another parameter which is the texture and it's going to be equal to image rocket underscore zero dot png and this is again a picture that I have on my computer. And I'm going to set the y equal to negative uh, 0.9. And so here I make two cubes using two images as the textures. And the first cube works as the background. So this first cube, it works as the background. And the second cube is going to be the rocket entity. And we make sure that the second cube is larger. So here I set the scale larger than these scales in the x and z dimensions in the first one so that it surrounds the first cube and the color parameter for the second cube this rgba the first three values are the rgb and the fourth value is transparency and just like the color transparency goes from 0 to 255 so where 0 means completely transparent and 255 means completely opaque so that you can't see through it so the first three um 255 just means white you set the color to white, and the force, this fourth parameter just means that it is opaque. And so if I run this, here we have a, basically, rocket with a background. Alright, so now let's create an update function. And this update function is going to give us this animation. So to find update, and remember that this update function is called once per frame. And so inside here, I'm going to create a or actually, outside here, I'm going to create a countdown value is equal to 10. And we want this to just count down from 10 to 0. I'm going to have an m value of 0. And now in this update function, I'm going to create this as a global variable. So global countdown and global m. And so each time that this update function is called, and this is called once per frame, I'm going to increase the m value. So m is equal to the previous m value plus 1. And now I'm just going to check if m mod 60 is 0 and countdown is greater than 1 or greater than negative 1, then I'm just going to basically print onto the screen countdown blah blah blah. So print on screen and I'm going to print down, uh, print out countdown or countdown value. And 
the position is going to be equal to negative 0 0.8, 0 0.45, and yeah, negative 0 0.8, 0 0.45. I set the scale to 2, and the duration equal to 1. And now I will decrease the countdown. So just like in, um, just like how we're counting down rockets, it's going to say countdown 10, 9, 8, all the way down to 1. And so I want to decrease this countdown value. So countdown is equal to the previous countdown, minus 1. And so here we just make a countdown timer, add the update function, and we create our Google variables, countdown and m. And so we print the countdown timer on the screen from 10 to 0. On my computer, 1 second is about 60 frames. This value might be different on your computer, so you might need to adjust this value when you try it. And when duration is equal to 1, uh, as this parameter. This just means that the text will stay on the screen for one second and then disappear. And so now we're going to launch the rocket after the countdown, but I'm just going to run what we have right now. Yeah, now we have our countdown on the top left, and you see that it's counting down from 10 all the way to, well, it should go to zero. So I'm just going to let it count down. We're at 4, 3, 2, 1, and then 0. And then it should not pass negative 1. There you go. And so let's create an offset value as well. So offset. And I'm going to create my offset value here. Offset is going to be equal to 0. And now we're just going to launch the rocket after the countdown. And so we create another global variable offset that will keep the texture for the background cube offset. And what it does is that it would make the background image move downwards, so it looks like the rock is moving upwards. So let's create another if statement right here. If the countdown is less than zero, which just means that it's finished counting down, we want to increase the offset. So offset is equal to the previous offset plus time.dt multiplied by 0.3. And so we can also set cube2.texture equal to image rocket.png. So I'm just saying the texture. And cube2.y is equal to zero. And we could set an attribute to cube. So attribute cube. And this is going to be texture underscore offset zero. Offset. And so when we launch our rocket, we change the texture for the rocket with another image, and we set the Y position to zero. So let's run this to see what happens. And now we just have to wait 10 seconds for the countdown to go to zero. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, and zero. Nice. All right, so now we see that our rocket is launching upwards. All right, great. So in this video, I showed you how you can manipulate the offset feature, uh, the offset attribute of an entity, and the transparency value to create a dynamic scene. And I hope you like it. So if you have any uh, comments, please put it in the comment section down below. And that's the end of this video. So this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.